It's a beautiful day in Hawaii, ne? and I feel like hiking the summer remote to go poke me some fish. I'm packing up my gun, my three prong, my float, a hundred foot line, and sinka. So let's go check them out. Shoo! It is absolutely gorgeous out here. There's not another person in sight down here. I got the whole place to myself. Oh, they got a search and rescue plane up. Maybe it's because of these missing slippers right there. I mean, who would walk out here and just leave their slippers and walk back barefoot? That's crazy. This spot is actually trash for diving and I still got a ways to go, but the spot that I'm going to is two knots for television, so she. After a grueling hike, I finally made it to my final destination. As soon as I jumped in, I spotted this cool cowrie shell. He's kind of boss up, so I dusted him off. And no more critters living inside, so I decided to keep them. No matter where you go in the world, always gonna have pilau people dropping their garbage. So I pick up this Duracell, throw them under my belt, and throw it onto my float for safekeeping. I made it out to the zone that I want to explore and my mission right now is to collect some pan fryers. But out of nowhere these two fat omilus come rolling right in. I could have smashed them right here but I didn't want to haul all that meat back so I put my focus back on collecting some pan fryers. I've been down here for a minute now and I'm noticing that I am in the baby zone. Everything over here is tiny. There ain't nothing I really want to shoot. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have smashed that Amilu, but it's still the beginning and I got plenty more dives to go. I'm just taking in all the beauty of all these beautiful little pretty fishes and warming up the lungs. Looking for that nice okole that I want. I spotted the biggest okole that I could find and I let her have it. Got one on the kui. I spot another one. Got two on the kui, but I am spoiled from diving Uncle E's. The kole over there are bigger than your hand. So I'm stoked I got two, that's plenty for me. And I decided to put my focus on some bigger pan fryers. I get down to the bottom and I spotted this alaihi just kind of going in and out of these crevices, taking little peekaboo shots at me. He's the biggest pan fryer I found so far, so I definitely don't want to screw the shot up. Every time I go for the shot though, there's something blocking me. And right now that my shot is clear, he gives me the straight and narrow shot, so I gotta wait till he turns. I got a nice shot on him, but these things are built like armored tanks. Their gill plates, their scales, everything is thick cuz. And I can tell that he's not on my three prong that good. My instinct is to grab him by the face and push him on, but they got these crazy spikes coming out of their head, so I'm holding him by the tail. These spikes will stab the crap out of you, so I cut him off both sides and throw him on the kui. That whole dive, I felt something poking around in my foot, so I take my fin off and a bunch of little rocks came out. They must have got stuck in my socks from the hike. So I get them cleared out, get myself situated, and I take another drop. When I get down to the bottom, there's a bunch of nice, beautiful mimpachis all over, but there's something lurking in the shadows right there that I want even more. I got this nice little tasty towel. I love pan frying these up when they're around this size. Golden brown and crispy. Look at this fat school of mempachis. They're all kind of medium small, so I'm not really focusing on them too much. Nice to get this invasive off the reef. And as I'm braining this guy, oh, there goes my CT9 down into the depths. So I'm keeping my eye on him. I get this towel onto my kui and I take a drop to go pick up my CT9. I get down to the bottom and I can't spot it anywhere. I'm freaking out because I've had it for over three years and it's my most prized possession. So I'm looking all over the place and then boom, I finally spotted it and it's safe and sound in the sand. 
As I'm picking it up, I spot this nice size Alaihi. So I grab my CT9 and I crawl my way over to him. This freaking Kole is getting in the way of my shot again and he's amping up the Alaihi. The Alaihi jukes him, but it gives me the straight and narrow shot, so I gotta wait till he turns. I hit him right in the armored gill plate and he wiggles right off. I load him up again for another shot, but you can see him swimming away on the bottom there. And that's exactly what I plan to do too. But first I gotta gut and scale my fish, get him ready for the pan fry. I throw my three prong onto my float, grab my gun out, and I swim out to the depths. But first, if you want a three prong like mine or any Evolve product you see me using, go check out EvolveDiving.com. Use my promo code HAMA for 10% off your entire order. I get out to the depths and my mission now is to find some predators. And predators did I find. I get surrounded by this big school of sharks, but thankfully I was not on the menu today. They're friendly and just cruising along, so I enjoy my safety from a distance, and I continue to drift up the coast. I spotted some barracudas and some more fish, and then I finally arrived at my destination. I've only dove this spot off of a boat. I've never tried to access it through hiking, which is absolutely insane. I spotted some monster moo on the way down, but there's something even more magical lurking in the darkness. My favorite fish in the whole world, and he's coming right up to me. I am so happy right now. I got me some nice uku sashimi, but I am not looking forward to the hike back. That's a decent sized uku, a lot of weight to carry back, and unfortunately something bad happened right now. My freaking camera died when I was pulling up that uku, but whew, I made it back to my truck with all that heavy fish, and what a hike that was. I went so much farther past those two bays, and now I remember why I don't hike far to go dive because hiking everything back is a pain in the butt. But I got everything chilling on ice and I'm headed to go pick up my guest of honor. Hey, little boy. Hey, Baba, you wanna go to the beach and fry up some fish with Dada? I got a nice big uku for you, but we're gonna save that for tomorrow. But I got this nice shell for you. Ooh. We made it! You ready to eat some fish? Oh boy. Hey, not yet. Wait for me. Well, we got to change the plans. We're going to go play first and then cook up some fish. <laughs> What's that? Up, sit. You want to go check out your zone? Let's go. <laughs> this whole island is just covered in black sand. There's only one little patch of white sand. And this is it right here. I'm gonna get him. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. <laughs> Oh yeah, getting pulled in. Absolutely beautiful out here. I was just crystal clear. What the hell? Whew. Playtime's over. Let's go grab some fish. I already cut up the fish and seasoned them at home. Get them ready for the drop. The sound of frying fish never gets old. Yes. 
Let me go over the spread with you. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I got my fresh fried fish, some home cooked rice. I picked this fresh mango and I am really excited to try this. I got this from Bada Kalani from Ho'okena. Some homemade chili pepper wada with a dash of limu kohu that he got from his uncle up in Javi. This is a special occasion. I'm just gonna grind the ala ihi with the chili pepper wada and limu kohu. Ah, let's go. Mm, I put just the right amount of salt on it. Fried fish is like the best thing in the whole world. Especially when you got this magnificent view, you just can't beat it. I love it when the fish is so crispy, you can eat the bones. That's when it's perfect. Takes a long time to cook it like that, but it's definitely worth it. Fat chunk right there. Mm-hmm. It really doesn't get much better than this. Mahalo Aina, man. Woo! I just pounded all that food non-stop. That was so good. Fried fish is definitely my kryptonite. But we're gonna head home, moi moi, and do something with that uku. All right, so it's day number two, and the uku's been on ice for 24 hours now. And we got brother Danny and Maggie here to join me for some delicious uku nigiri. Oh. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Just a little guy. Two pounder. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half? Two and a half. Kind of like a dumb job in a lot of different ways kind of a meme but the best thing about it and i was like that it just resonated with me because i'm like a step person you know, like, you know what i mean mm -hmm. she is shot though All right, the nigiri's all done, and I got my taste testers here. We're gonna make sure it's safe to eat. Oh God, I knew it was gonna happen. It's okay. Good to go. Good to go. We'll clean it up after. No worries. Mmm. Uku is so soft, buttery, takes up the flavor of the wasabi perfectly. Best mm -hmm. sashimi meat for sure. Well, enjoy. It's all for you guys. Oh. <laughs> what a delicious dish that was. Uku nigiri. One of my favorite fish to hunt in the whole world. Love that fish so much. Such a beast on the reef. Glad I got to share them with everybody. Mahalos for watching and mahalo aina. <laughs>